End of the story with Combank, Australia, freezing whole customer bank account because of Bitcoin buying is pretty crazy. Bank, where the bought Bitcoin is going? Customer, that is none of your business. Bank, okay, we will not unfreeze your account. Customer, it goes to the cold wallet. Bank, where do you store your cold wallet? USA, the digital asset mining energy tax, DAM, first proposed a year ago, would impose a 30% excise tax on Bitcoin and crypto miners' electricity costs, likely forcing them to flee the country as they did from China when it cracked down on miners in 2021. When considering in context of Bitcoin administration attempt to collect information about all Bitcoin miners exact location and capacity under threat of long-term jail and prominent whistleblowers information of US government secretly collecting as much Bitcoins as possible by secretly mining it as they are not able to buy it OTC or sex because it will be easily visible on chain Various interesting large impact predictions are possible. Crypto exchange Crypto.com received a $3.1 million fine from the Dutch Central Bank for operating without the registration. Let's remind you that Crypto.com raised over $3 billion in month during last bull run and paid over $7. 750 million US dollars per month for marketing purposes. There must be also a certain level of chaos inside the company as this tax was involved in rumors about accidentally sending 10 million Australian dollars to customer instead of some hundred bucks and finding it out only some 1.5 years later. Following IMF demand, Pakistan is to impose capital gains tax on Bitcoin and crypto investments to receive 3 billion US dollars aid package. Tether TO, issuer of stablecoin USDT, generated 6.2 billion US dollar profit last year, surpassing most major European banks. Tether employee count is around 100. USDT is by far dominant stablecoin with over 100 billion US dollar market cap. Hong Kong regulator lists Bybit Tex as suspicious crypto trading platform in latest alert. 